Hey guys, uh, welcome to your love reading. This is going to be for Capricorn for your November 2023. You can apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Um, so we're going to take a look at someone that you dealt with or currently maybe you're still dealing with. Uh, we're going to see uh, what this person did to you and then uh, we'll finish off the reads to see why this person did it. What else you guys need to know, look out for, work on, apply this to your own unique situation. You may switch to those if you want. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective um, Capricorn people not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to uh, book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post and when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok and also on Instagram, the links for those are in the description box below. I do also post readings on there too. All right, so Capricorn. Tell me about Capricorn here. The person that Capricorn was dealing with or is dealing with. What did this person do to Capricorn? What did this person do to Capricorn? What does this person do to Capricorn for November 2023? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Capricorn. We have the Ace of Swords here and the Page of Swords. Um, I feel like the truth came about it came out about something here. You know, you might have found out through one of your mutual friends. You might have found out through social media. But someone here was definitely hiding something here for you, from you. A secret. And you feel like the secret is a third-party situation here. Okay? Now, um... Keep in mind, Capricorn, it could be a situation that, you know, it already had happened. So you could apply this to your own timeline here or that this might happen in the future here. But whoever this is, this person's definitely kept a megawatt secret here from you. And I feel like this person might have outed themselves. You know, I, I feel like as soon as you found out or the, the, as soon as you will find out, you will text this person and this person will completely, completely just disappear from you. Yeah, they won't respond. They won't say anything here. And I feel like this person might ghost you. Uh, you know, this person might leave you on red here. And I feel, you know, I feel like a lot of this, for a lot of you guys, this might have already happened here because I feel like, you know what? I'm not going to get the answers that I'm looking for from this individual. I'm not going to get the expl explanation that I'm looking for from this individual. So why don't I distance myself from this situation, heal, and move towards a new beginning here myself here, okay? So some of you guys could have moved on already. Yeah, this was a major betrayal here. Ten of Swords, Ace of Swords, Seven of Swords, uh, Page of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini here. Page of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Two of Swords, and the Three of Swords, Three of Cups, and the Hermit, and Justice card, and the Ace of Pentacles here. So, you know, what came out, what this person's hiding from you is that definitely there was a third party situation here. And I feel like, like I said, if you find out and you message this person, you call this person about it, you address this, this person is going to completely disappear from you and not, and you won't get the explanation that you're looking for here. And keep in mind by this person's doing that, they're definitely going to take on karma here. I mean, they, they've already are attacking this on already. So, you know, I just feel like it's really important for you to know when to let go and give up here, you know, because, you know, for some of you guys, you guys might be dog, like a dog on a bone trying to get the answers that you're looking for here. And then some of you guys are like, you know what? F it. I'm just going to move on. Okay. So let's get, take a look and see what else we have here. What else do we have here for Capricorn? What else do we have here for Capricorn? Why did this person do this to Capricorn for November 2023? Sun, moon, rising, Venus signs for Capricorn. Why did this person do this to Capricorn? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Capricorn. Okay, so we have the Nine of Wands here and the Queen of Cups, okay? You know, the thing that I could get from this situation here, the only reason why that this person's behaving this way is that this person has a lot of trauma and a lot of pain that this person hasn't really faced yet here. Yeah. And they feel like this person keeps turning their back on it or that they feel like they can't face it. It's too hard. And that's why this person acts out this way here. With the Ace of Cups here and the Nine of Pentacles, you know, the thing is like with the Nine of Pentacles here and the Ace of Cups, you know, you realize that you know your worth. You know, you love yourself enough to step away from the situation and not continue to torture yourself by staying in the situation with this person here. 
okay? So we have the Strength card here, Leo Energy, and the Queen of Wands here, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius Energy. Yeah, you're just kind of like, you know, I'm better off like moving on, better off taking my chances here, moving towards new love instead of dealing with this here, okay? Uh, like I said, um, so Capricorn, I mean, you could apply this to your own timeline. This might have already happened or that this is happening in real time or that this could be happening in the future here. But whoever this is, like, this is definitely some sort of megawatt lie that this person has been keeping from you or that they've been lying to you here. And I feel like you might find out through social media. Uh, yeah, I feel like that's the beauty of it sometimes, you know, but I also feel like, you know, sometimes social media could be a bit of a blessing and a bit of a curse here too. Uh, because like I said, you could find out a lot of information on there. And sometimes, you know, it could be that, you know, it's certain things that you don't want to find out or that you don't want to know, uh, but you have to know, right? So tell me about the magician here and the four of pentacles. You know, I'm not going to lie here. I feel like this person doesn't really have quite a lot to offer here. Um, I just don't feel like this person really has the capabilities or the abilities to really maintain a healthy relationship because this person locks up with themselves here. So, you know, also regarding this situation, you might want to look into yourself and see, ask yourself, you know, what vibration were you vibrating at when you met this person? You know, you know, uh, you know, it could, it could be that it was just a stroke of bad luck here, uh, you know, uh, but, you know, uh, it, it could be that there is something that you need to work on here yourself here too. So, uh, you know, so just kind of look into that, you know, some, you know, a lot of times we are a direct reflection of who we attract. Sometimes that, that's, that's not really the case. Sometimes we are a magnet for like, you know, these types of people. And, you know, when that does happen, you know, it's really important for you to maintain boundaries with certain people that you come across, such as, for example, like uh, a person like this, okay? The uh, Three of Wands here, and the Two of Cups. Queen of Cups, and the Judgment card, Sagittarius Energy. Could be a situation, you know, um, you know, moving forward, you know, this person could be, you know, in this energy of wanting to reconcile here with you too, but you could be closing the door on this person here. Um, I also feel like this is also a same-sex couple here. It doesn't have to be, uh, but you can apply this to your own unique situation uh, because there's mostly feminine energies here. But, you know, a guy can also take on feminine qualities here too. I mean, these two queens here, these two feminine energies could be, you know, two men. Um, but so just apply this to your own unique situation here. But, you know, with the death card here, the hangman, yeah, the seven of wands here, you're definitely maintaining or you, you're definitely creating stronger boundaries with this individual or just moving forward just in general here. You know, you're definitely letting this go and moving on. And, you, you know, um, through this experience, I feel like you've grown and changed a lot here. And I feel like that's the upside to this. So, you know, I feel like um, not all is lost here. Uh, obviously, you know, this is very painful and this is very hurtful and you can only learn, heal and grow from this pain here. Okay, so Capricorn, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will speak to you guys in the next one here. Thanks, guys. Bye.